Hello and welcome replay viewers here on Periscope and Twitter. It's nice to be live. We're in Wiltshire, just outside Bradford and Avon, and just coming down to the small little village of Turley, which uh, just is nestled below Winsley, and then the next town is Bradford on Avon. So, uh, welcome along. Thank you. Nice to have you here. You're going to see this beautiful little village as we just approach it. The wall on our right hand side keeping the uh, hillside at bay from collapsing in. This is a little steep valley here. So, as we look, I start to see Turley appear at the bottom of this road. A little stream runs down through that uh, area there, and we'll see it emerge further along. So we're going to be seeing some buildings which are many hundreds of years old here at Turley. entrance gates there. Who could live at the end of a drive like that? Magnificent, lovely lamps on top. And we'll actually see the house because we were, it comes out in the village. Cross over to the pavement side of that, it's quite a narrow road. And the roads are a little bit icy today. No snow here, but uh, we've certainly had cold weather, it's minus two degrees C. So a little bit on the chilly side. We will get this video onto YouTube. Thank you for joining me here live in the uh, village of Turley, just approaching the village right now. Beautiful place with some beautiful views over the valley that runs between Bath and uh, Bradford on Avon. Slippy. Hello and welcome. Good to see people watching live. There's the uh, spring coming out. We'll take a look at this a moment. Nice fresh spring water for everybody. Move further into the village now and see what we can find for you. And uh, we've got some very, very old buildings here, as you can see. Here's the uh, manor who lives in a house like this. And I see Darby's joined us. Welcome along. 
It's my little country pad, not. And uh, some of the lovely houses up there. Green Lane. See the properties are about 400 years old. Plenty of water about. Let me see some of the very old buildings now. This was a in this day a thriving little village. You'll see there used to be a bakery and a post office and all kinds of things, all now houses. Birds singing, beautiful blue sky today as you can see. Absolutely lovely. Hello, what are you doing up there? There you go. Hello. View backwards back towards the manor house as well. Give you a view of that. See, we've got some lovely properties here. It's the old tannery. So, some time in the past, then the tannery was there. It's quite interesting when you look at the names of the uh, the properties, what they used to be. And the birds sound beautiful, don't they? See, this one here. This was the old post office. Still got the post office shop window as well. Great if you've got a smart car because they fit into these tiny places. Still got a phone box, yeah. Dying out in Britain now with the mobile phones being so uh, popular. Buying cottage. Again, more beautiful old buildings here. This one was the old bakery, see from the shop window, still in place. So that was a bakery. And behind that, a, a coach house. It was getting a bit down over the sun. Then this was the forge. So in days gone by, you see, people lived in the village and all the industry was local. And it, not only that, it could be supported. Whereas today, everything's kind of regionalised, nationalised, even internationalised, isn't it? Hill House, see, property up there. Lodge, nice door. We'll go down the hill a little bit. I'm going to walk back up to the left eventually, take me back up to Winsley Village. Be a little bit careful on these roads because they are icy, it's black ice, so uh, be very careful. This was a coach house at some point too. Cottage there. Down there was Turley Mill, so there used to be a mill down there at one point as well. And this is the malt house. So this would have been part of the brewing process where the malt was prepared for the beer. So again, a lot of industry in such a small space, which sadly is now uh, long gone. Got a special hot machine there if anybody has a problem. Tennis court, lovely gardens up there. We have a Hyundai. Mm. 
I'm glad the signal's good, that's excellent. I will take the um, HD copy of this and uh, place it on YouTube, all being well. Now if we look over here, we get a view over these gardens down the valley. Give you that view. Hopefully the sun's not dazzling too much. What a view you get from these properties here. Again, we just have a little peek. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful hillsides looking back towards the village. And the birds are singing. So what we'll do is go back and then turn right, go up the hill and take a look at a few of the cottages up there. So an aircraft somewhere. Small plane. Let's take a little view over here. So what was the gate? There you go. Some sheep down there. And a lovely day today. There's a great deal of history in, uh, in villages like this. So what fascinates me is that all these buildings at one time um, not just had people living here, but working here as well. And of course today, now unless people work from home, they'll all be commuting somewhere, buying goods in from thousands of miles away, rather than having local beer that was made and brewed here on the premises. And no doubt much of it consumed locally as well. course since uh, the age of the motor car and people travelling property prices here have gone up considerably. Yes people would have been bustling around here enjoying life, doing their work. Let's go this way. It's now a little lane as you can tell from the sign. I am. A little cottage there. And I'll get to the other side of the road and we can see more view of the properties. It's called Wits End. So if you, you live there, you can be at your Wits End. Isn't it better to live like this than live in a crammed city? The roads would have been uh, primarily dirt tracks originally and then sort of gravel, this kind of stuff put down. I doubt that there would be any cobble. It would have been uh, just fairly rough roads until the, the tarmac came along. Nice little view here. Someone's garden, a little bit bigger than my patch. We got? Yeah, I thought we had a vehicle coming up then, but we haven't, so we're all right. So I'm going to take a sweeping view back. Little view back down where we just come from, and then across the valley. See all that mistletoe up in the tree there. Yeah, so all the ivy climbing up the buildings. A lot of these buildings are built from local stone. So uh, it was quarried in the area. It's like they've been digging some out down here. 
water to flow. There's a stone called bath stone, which is kind of a limestone type um, thing. There's a, a, a rock also called oolite, double O L I T E, which is quarried um, from Bath to Bradford and Avon. So you see a lot of oolite around. And that brings us towards the end of the village now. We, we're leaving the village behind us and just walking back up this country lane to take us to the edge of Winsley. Just stay tuned for a little bit longer. I'm glad the phone signal's okay because it's quite uh, a deep valley here so I was a little bit worried whether we would uh, have any connection problems. Here are we live on Periscope and Twitter. Good, I'm pleased it's a great signal today. So that's good. Britain does struggle a little bit for the phone network. It's getting busy here, look. thought it. Thank you very much Darby, appreciate uh, your comments. We try and bring you some interesting places. I've got quite a few uh, places to go and film. There'll be scopes but there'll also be longer versions on YouTube which will be specially made about the history of places. I'm uh, researching a place at the moment called Road, R-O-D-E. Um, I know it fairly well, but did a little reconnaissance walk the other day and doing some history research. So we've got all sorts of things to talk about in that one. Old pubs, old industries and murder. So uh, watch out for that one when we can get around to getting out, getting that what filmed properly. And we're talking about an interesting case of the five-year-old who was killed by his 16-year-old sister. And then she finished up in Australia as a convict and then came back later in life to finish her life here in England. It's quite an interesting story, so we're going to get that one onto YouTube. Look at this little house here. Shows up behind the trees. So there are some really nice homes. We've got a few million pounds to spare. Or oh, getting a better view here. This is called Turley Danes. Yeah, several million. If it was in London, you'd probably start with like 40 million. But out here, it's probably more like three. Looks like these are their tennis courts that go with it. And the sun is still streaming, it's beautiful. Yes, nice tennis court. Some of those artificial grass surfaces. And then we've got some more modern houses coming up as we approach uh, Winsley Village. That's a nice village too, so on another occasion we'll go around the centre of that and film that one. A lot of history there. Nice gardens.
So that brings us out of Turley now, so I'm going to end this scope and uh, look forward to bringing you many more. Thank you for joining me today and do take care. Bye for now.